Nowadays, most people have their personal computer. Actually, you're probably watching this video from your computer. But did you know with an emulator on your computer, you can do so much more? In this video, we will go over the three main reasons people use Android emulators. And if you are an Android developer, the third one will be of particular interest to you. But first, what is an emulator? An emulator is a type of software that allows one computer system called the host to imitate the functions of another system called the guest. In other words, the emulator provides a virtual environment to execute programs designed for the guest system. So then, what is an Android emulator? An Android emulator is a piece of software that allows you to run Android apps on your PC or Mac. More specifically, for those that use Android Studio, an Android emulator is an Android virtual device, which is designed to represent any particular Android phone or tablet. There are many reasons why someone would want to use an emulator. Maybe they want to run a specific app or play a game that is only available on Android. Or maybe they just prefer the look and feel of the Android interface. Whatever the reason, Android emulators can be a great way to get access to all your favorite Android apps or games games on your computer. Now, let's quickly go over the three main reasons why people use Android emulators. People use Android emulators for productivity. This is probably a less common reason, since most mobile productivity tools are also available on PC or Mac already. That being said, some mobile apps are just easier to use than their PC counterparts, so an emulator, in that case, becomes very handy. Furthermore, mobile apps often use gestures and touchscreen controls, but for some people, it is just easier to use the app on a computer through an emulator than on the Android device. For example, instead of using a touch screen to type on a note-taking app, it can be easier to use the keyboard of your PC to type on the emulator. Another way that Android emulators help users improve their productivity is by using apps simultaneously. Some emulators like BlueStacks and Memu allow you to have apps open alongside each other on your PC. Even better, you can use an emulator to multitask between an app that is only available in Android and another application on your PC. Other than productivity improvement, the most common reason people use an Android emulator is for gaming. When it comes to gaming, an emulator lets you use your larger display. A bigger screen not only allows you to have a better appreciation for the graphics of the game, but also gives you the possibility to see small details that you wouldn't see on your phone. Some emulators like BlueStack have built-in keyboard hotkeys. They support mouse, gamepad, and game controller for a smoother and better gaming experience. Also, some mobile games require latest and most powerful phone specs to run. Using an emulator on your PC will generally provide you with more power and storage than your smartphone can. Plus, your computer is usually plugged, which means unlimited battery life, whereas your phone would likely overheat if it had to run a game while being plugged in. The third reason people use Android emulators is for app development and testing. This is probably the second most popular use case of the Android emulator. Emulators are a powerful tool for developers and can be very useful useful for app testing. If you're thinking about developing for Android, then you should definitely consider using an emulator. Development-focused emulators usually combine an IDE with the emulator so developers can code their app, run it on the emulator, and fix bugs as necessary. As you can imagine, Android Studio blows all the competitors out of the water when it comes to app testing and fixing bugs. It uses an Android virtual device function that lets developers emulate specific devices by selecting their specifications and features. This helps developers test on a wide range of devices before launch ensuring fewer bugs. But sometimes, creating the right virtual device and the right way to use it to test your app can be confusing if you don't know how to go about it. This is why I will be creating in the coming weeks a series of videos where I will explain in detail how to create, manage, and use the Android emulator that comes with Android Studio. If you are a new Android developer, this series is definitely for you. And even if you are an advanced developer, this series is also for you, for there are recent changes and updates that you need to be aware of. So subscribe if you haven't done so yet, and click the notification bell to know when each video will be out. Also, don't hesitate to comment below any aspect of the Android emulator you would like me to cover in this series. Thank you, see you in the next one.